Hello guys, it's Bill here, Garage Football, I'm off to watch West Ham v Everton at London Stadium today. After a heartbreaking disallowed goal last week away at Sheffield United because of that ridiculous handball law, West Ham is still in trouble near the foot of the Premier League and need some points to uh, get clear really. Uh, playing Everton today, um, be a bit difficult game I think. We've got some good results uh, under new manager Carl Ancelotti, so um, yeah, we're expecting a tough one really. Um, before I head to the station, uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, please subscribe to us. We're close to 100 subs now, so um, all your support will be really appreciated. And we're also on uh, Apple Podcasts and Spotify now as well. Uh, links are in the description below. Um, so uh, we really appreciate the support. I'm about to head to the station now. Uh, come join us. Time here at the London Stadium, it's West Ham 1, Everton 1. Um, first 35 40 minutes or so, both teams had the ball but didn't do a lot with it. You know, final ball was lacking. Um, but West Ham took the lead about 40 minutes, uh, four minutes into the game. Uh, Robert Snodgrass with a free kick from the right side, headed in by Issa Diop. Uh, but the lead didn't last long. Uh, Dominic Calvert Lewin uh, equalised for, for Everton a couple of minutes in, a um, couple of minutes afterwards. So um, both sides will say uh, this game's for the taking. Um, hopefully, obviously, West Ham get the, uh, get the winner in the second half. Uh, come on, your Owens.
time here at the London Stanley Fish, West Ham 1, Everton 1. Uh, missed opportunity really for West Ham, uh, Everton were, were there for the taking, but if anything, Everton looked a better sign in the second half, so I uh, don't think West Ham deserved to, uh, to get the three points. Uh, bits and pieces, a few half chances, but uh, overall I don't think the three points were really deserved. Um, Needed to really win this game in uh, this tough set of fixtures coming up for and was Liverpool coming up twice and not a long time at all. So yeah, I feel uh, yeah missed opportunity. It was a lack, real lack of movement in the second half, which was uh, really alarming. So as I said, I think we deserved more than a point really, uh, but almost on upwards. Hey there guys, well I'm home now. Um, as I was saying after the game, I don't think on West Ham's second half display we deserved to. Win the game. I thought we were better in the first half, but I think Everton just shaded the second half really. So I think over the 90 minutes, I think uh, the draw was a fair result. Um, but as I was saying earlier, I think I missed opportunity really. Uh, Everton were there for the taking and had a couple of injuries, which made a difference to their team. And I think it made a difference to our team as well. The injuries we had, like Anderson and Antonio missing, for example. But I think in the in the forward area, I think we were quite clinical enough, and our and our movement or lack of moving, I should say, in the, in the second half was really alarming. So um, it's no coincidence that our better players were were defenders from Diop and Obono were very good. Zablet was good down the right. Um, I think Snodgrass had a good game going forward, but everyone else, Hilaire, um struggled. Lanzini struggled. Fornell's not quite his best. So, um, yeah, as I say, in the end, uh, a draw was a fair result. Um Obviously, we need the three points really to get away from trouble. So, um, thanks everyone that's uh, watched this vlog today. Um, if you are new, please uh, subscribe to us. So we're getting close to a hundred subs now. So um, any uh, any help would be great for <laughs> us to get that, and we really appreciate your support. Um, and we're also on uh, Apple Podcasts and Spotify as well. Uh, links in the uh, description below. Uh, thanks for watching. Now I'll see you next time. Bye for now.